Hi guys, welcome back to another video of me teaching. And today I have the 2025 MIT semi-final question one for you guys. So why don't we just get into question? Well, this question looks pretty okay, right? But I'm actually going to show you two ways. So the first way is actually it will only take around 10 seconds to solve. So we said this integral is in the form of this, right? But where m is 4 over 3 and n is 2. And also satisfies that m is greater than 0 and n and m is less than n. But I actually want to go in detail about this method because this method involves beta and gamma functions, which are pretty advanced. And it is also possible that in the future, I will explain this. So, the second way is the high school method. So, when you look at this integral, it is pretty reasonable just to let t to be the cube root of x, right? So you don't have any more fraction powers. But that's actually what I'm going to do. So you let t to be the cube root of x. So we see that t is x cube. I mean, t cube is x. So dx is 3t squared dt. And the bounds don't need to change. So this is just equal to the integral from 0 to infinity of the cube root of x is just t. And now 1 plus x squared is just t cubed times 3t squared dt. Now I'm going to take the 3 outside and put the t squared up here. So this will just become Okay, so now what should we do? Well, I'm actually going to do a very unique substitution. And that substitution is I'm actually going to let t to be 1 over v. And from here, we see that dt is negative v, negative 2, d, v. Okay? Well, after we do this substitution, I'm going to tell you why this works. So, the bounds have to change. This 0 becomes infinity and the infinity becomes zero. So we basically just swap the bounds. So this is just equal to three. And before I do that, I'm going to first let i to be this. So this is equal to three times the integral from infinity to zero of t is just v to the negative one. So t cubed is v to the negative three. And then the bottom is 1 plus t6 is v to the negative 6. And then times negative v negative 2 dv. And now I'm going to use the bounds to, I'm going to use the negative to switch the bounds. And also I'm going to put this on top of here. Okay, so when you see an integral that has all negative powers, there's an easy fix to make it all positive. Just multiply the top and bottom by v to the 6. So this will just be 3 times the integral from 0 to infinity of v over v to the 6 plus 1 dv. And now I'm going to change the dummy variable from v back to t. Okay, so like I said, I already defined i to be this. And now this is still i because it still equals. And we see that the denominator is actually the same. 
So why don't we just add this i to this i? So we get 2i is just equal to the integral from 0 to infinity of the denominator stays the same. But the top becomes t cubed plus t. And now, if I factorize the top and bottom, then we will get, oh, I forgot the 3. t times t squared plus 1. And the bottom is equal to 1 cubed plus t squared bracket cubed. And if we factorize that, it becomes 1 plus t squared times 1 minus t squared plus t to the 4. And now we see, of course, cancel, cancel. So this just becomes 3 times the integral from 0 to infinity of, I'm actually going to switch up the order to let it become t to the 4 minus t squared plus 1. And the top is just t dt. So I'm going to rub everything out and we'll work on it a bit later. Okay, so now that we have this, we see, can we just do a very simple substitution? Just like let u to be t squared. But the thing that's blocking us from doing that is this t. So how do we change t to t squared? Well, we can actually do this very simple manipulation. So this is equal to 3 times the integral from 0 to infinity. The thing is, I can put this behind the d. So that means the denominator stays the same. But instead of dt, we have d 1 half t squared, right? Because the derivative of this is just t. So now we can easily let t squared to be u. So now if I just let u to be t squared, and we don't need to do du anymore because we already have this, and we don't need to change the bounds, then everything will just be, this will become 3 over 2 because if I bring this out, so 3 over 2 times the integral of 0 to infinity of the bottom becomes u squared minus u plus 1 du. So I'm going to make this into a perfect square. So this is just b, 3 over 2, the integral 0 to infinity of, if I complete the square, then I will get u minus 1 half squared plus 3 quarters. But we see that we have a variable squared. But if you noticed, if we add a constant squared, that's actually the inverse tangent formula. So we want something squared is equal to 3 quarters, which is just square root of 3 over 2 squared. Right? So now I can use the inverse tangent formula. So this is equal to 3 over 2 times, okay, so it becomes 1 over the a, so it becomes 2 over square root of 3 times the inverse tangent of x over a, And then we have to go from 0 to infinity. So if I just plug in infinity and 0, we just have 3 over 2 multiplied by, for infinity, let's see, if I first put this at the very outside, for infinity, we see that this inside is just infinity. Now the inverse tangent of infinity is just pi over 2. And then we subtract. If we plug in 0, then we see this become negative 1 over square root of 3. 
and the inverse tangent of that is negative pi over 6. And since we already have a negative here, it becomes plus pi over 6. So now, this cancel, cancel, and also this cancel, cancel, and this remains a square root of 3. So this becomes square root of 3 multiplied by this plus that is just 2 over 3 pi. And now cancel, cancel, square root of 3 is equal to 2 pi over square root of 3. But we're not done yet because 2i is equal to this. So if 2i is equal to that, then we know that i is just equal to pi over square root of 3. So this is the final answer of the MIT of the 2025 MIT semifinal question one. So thank you guys so much for watching. And if you enjoy my video and you want more videos like this, please consider liking and subscribing. If you want to master something, teach it.